Welcome back moviegoers to another Movie Locations video. Today we're up in Indiana and it is freezing up here. We're getting nailed by some freezing rain. We did not expect that. But we are here to celebrate the 35th anniversary of the movie Hoosiers. And so we're going to be driving all around the Indianapolis, surrounding areas around Indianapolis, to hit as many locations as we can and to go to a couple events at the Hoosier Gym. So first, you've seen all the locations from the intro. But now we're gonna break it down into some of the major spots. And this is New Richmond, Indiana, which is where they filmed all of the town parts of Hickory. And they're very proud of their Hoosiers heritage because they named a lot of their stuff. The Hickory, whatever it is. Look, right here next to me is the Hickory Cafe. So you see little um, nods to the movie all over town. And now let's go line up some of the shots. So after the introduction as Norman Dale is driving into his new hometown to coach basketball, you see him pull into New Richmond from this angle. And they made it look like he's coming from this direction, but he actually came from that direction. This is the Hickory Cafe, which is actually the barber shop in the movie, so that can lead to some confusion because there was like a diner scene that was here. And I'll show you that in a second, but a couple scenes happened inside of this building, the barbershop where all the uh, townspeople meet the coach for the first time and when the players get their haircuts before the state championship. But there's another scene where he walks across here, Gene Hackman, and so he comes down this way and then they start loading up the truck from kind of right here. And you can see most everything is still the same, maybe some the fronts of the buildings are a little bit different, but New Richmond, 35 years, a cool little town, crossroads. So this is the outside of what was the diner in the movie. It's closed down now, but there's a couple things we can see to match up since I can't get inside. You can see that little entryway where he kind of comes around the corner, shooter I'm talking about. That's his first appearance. And then also, if you look through the window of that shot, you can see these windows here on this building. Welcome to Nineveh, Indiana, one third of Hickory. And this is one third because this is where the school building once stood. All the school scenes were filmed right here. The building was there. And there's three major clues that confirm that. The first being the real obvious one, which is this sign denoting that it once stood here. It was an elementary school building and it closed in 1986, same year that the movie came out. They were gonna turn it into apartments or something like that, but it kept getting vandalized and eventually some kids or something burned it down. Another clue is when we see Coach Norman Dale pull into the school for the first time, he comes up this road and turns in and we see these houses. Third clue, I found an aerial image from 1970. You're gonna have to pardon the watermark because they wanted like 180 bucks for this picture, but you can see the school in it. This is from 1970, so 15, 16 years before the movie was filmed. You see this building here to the right of the school. Now there's one other thing that happens in this area, and that is the shooting hoop scene with uh, Jimmy Chitwood Coach Norman Dale tells him he doesn't care whether or not he joins the team. And that was somewhere back here, behind the school. One thing you can notice in that scene is there's like this baseball diamond worn into the ground. That's visible in the 1970 aerial image. The basketball hoop area is not. The square of dirt with the, uh, the hoop, I don't see that anywhere in the picture. Maybe it's this square here, I don't know. But all that was right here. About an hour and 15 minutes from Nineveh and an hour 45 from New Richmond is Knightstown, Indiana. And this is the home of the Hoosiers Gym where all the Huskers home games were played. The gym was completed in December of 1921, making it 100 years old at the time of uploading this video. And in its early years, it was used a ton in the community. But in 1966, a new high school opened in town and uh, it had a newer gym and all that. So it kind of sat dormant for a while. 20 years later though, the filmmakers working on Hoosiers decided to use it for their movie. Now about a third of 
the movie takes place in this building, but we could have lost the iconic gym as it was set to be demolished in 1988. Thankfully though, Historic Knightstown was formed. They partnered with Historic Landmarks of Indiana to save it, and it's been thriving as a tourist destination for basketball and movie fans ever since. They host a ton of events here, high school basketball games. They hold the Hoosiers Reunion All-Star Classic every year. So definitely pay a visit to the Hoosier Gym if you're a fan of either movies, basketball, or Hoosiers. So right here is the stairs down to the locker room that you see a couple times in the movie. There's one scene where he gets kicked out of a game and we see him sitting down here on a bench. And here is the locker room. By the way guys, while we're still here at the Hoosiers gym, wanted to let you know of a giveaway we're doing. We have a signed poster. It's signed by most of the team, including Jimmy Chitwood, Raid, Buddy, Ali, Wit, uh, as well as the writer of the movie. So if you wanna enter the contest, just make sure you're subscribed here on YouTube. Go and follow our Instagram account, at going to the movies. That's two, the number two for the Instagram. And then send me a DM on Instagram saying that you have entered the contest. That will put you into the drawing and we will announce the winner on December 31st. 1939 Chevy bus, original team bus from the movie Hoosiers. We used it as an RV for 35 years and then the movie used it. Oh really? And then it got out of the family for 10 years. I got back from overseas, I'd been I was a diplomat and a naval officer. I was gone for 41 years from Indiana. But anyway, I got that back in 90, uh, 96, 25 wow. years ago, and then restored it over about four years to where it is now. And then I had it out in Virginia for, uh, for most from. of the last 25 years, because that's where I lived. I was overseas back and forth here. And then um, I partnered with them. I just moved back from Virginia, retired, moved back here, and partnered with these guys. The guy who owned that vehicle just moved from the West Coast. I moved okay. from Virginia to Greenfield. He moved from California to Greenfield. We both bought houses, partnered with the Hoosier Gym from opposite coast, and we didn't know each other. This is the original one? Yeah, this is the car Jane Hackman drove in the movie. Awesome. I bought it about 20 years ago. Wow. Was it part of like an auction or something? No, I, I tracked the lady down who owned it. Oh. She, was, she was a member of the Venice Chevrolet Club. Wow. So she agreed to sell to me. This car's been in California for the last 20 years. We're now about eight miles south of New Richmond and now we're at Coach Normandale's house or where it once stood, right here. There were three buildings that used to stand here. Now the red house was there, that's the principal's house. You can see the entryway of what was the driveway to Coach Norman Dale's house where he was gonna stay. And you can see the two things still there on either side. And then here is where the barn stood. So right here you can see the remnants of the barn back there behind the trees. Looks like the base of the structure is still kind of there. Everything's collapsed down into it over time. Maybe that stuff there is some of the remnants of Coach's house, but maybe it's just a bunch of junk, I don't know. There's a closer view of where the driveway was leading up to Coach's house. Is it too cold for a Virginia fact? It is not, but it is very cold. This film was renamed Best Shot in the International Markets because most people outside of the U.S. do not know where the is. Interesting. Good fact. <laughs> you know what else is? A fact. What? Let's go! Most people inside the U.S. don't know what a Hoosier is. Yeah, I never heard of it. What is it? It is somebody that is from Indiana. So we just got into Shooter's cabin, and unfortunately, a couple years ago, turns out there was a tree that fell on it, and now it's just kind of rotting away here. But I'm glad we got here to document it before it's completely gone. By the way, it's on private property. We did get permission from uh, the people that live over beside it to come back here. I'm gonna go around and see if we can match up some of the stuff in the movie. It'd be really cool if we can get a peek inside of where the fireplace was. All right, we're down here in this huge ditch in the woods. We have found the exact angle 
from the outside of Shooter's house. So we're kind of where Gene Hackman was looking up. Half of a house no longer there, unfortunately. But at least we have that corner to match up. You can see the windows are still the same. Now let's see if we can see some of the inside where the fireplace was. Right in here where the tree fell down, that's where you can see the, the view to the inside. And that's right there where they were sitting, where he asked him to be the assistant coach. See the window on the left. Too dark to see the fireplace, but I'll go inside and show you. Now we're at Elizaville Baptist Church, and this is the spot where they have the meeting about whether or not they're gonna keep Coach on the staff or let him go. And Jimmy comes and saves his job pretty much with the speech inside. They did film it in there, but it's locked right now, so we cannot see the inside. Okay, so this location is also destroyed, and I just wanted to make a quick stop here because it's not far away from another location, but you see it for a couple of seconds right before the state championship. It is burned down. This one, not the result of vandals, thankfully, but they did have some uh, electricity issues in their marquee or something like that. So there was a movie theater right here, the Avon Theater, that has since burned down. And if you turn up the exposure on the screenshot of it, you can see this building just to the left with the two windows. Today we are in Indianapolis doing two of the gyms and I just stopped here at the St. Philip Neary Catholic School. I called ahead but I didn't get a return call about seeing the gym, which is the Cedar Knob gym in the movie, uh, the away gym, their first away game I believe that they show. And the lady said, yeah, I remember you calling, I'll show you down there. She took me down there, the gym was empty. I said, can we go up to the top area? She showed me up there and she was like, okay, I'll let you do your thing. Um, so I was doing that and about like three minutes later, a full class of kids come in and they're running laps and everything. So I'm kind of like weaving around them, getting my shots. I told the gym teacher, I was like, yeah, so the lady at the office said it was cool if I take pictures and videos for the movie Hoosiers. I'm doing a project and she's like, oh yeah, that's fun. Uh, this gym is really interesting. There's no bleachers. And there's one fact I know about this place is that the gym floor was of course vandalized. There's so much vandalism when it comes to Hoosiers locations. And someone dumped some sulfuric acid on the original wood floors. They ended up replacing them now, so. They got the floor in there, but yeah, some cool spots to see. Uh, getting up there on the second level was neat. Seeing the door that they come through after Raid punches the guy. Yeah, that's this game where uh, Gene Hackman calls a bunch of high school kids gorillas or something. All right, yeah, that was definitely awkward. So let's go ahead and move on to the next spot. This gym was the site of the regional game against the Linton Wildcats. They were called Jasper in the original script, uh, but in real life it's in Lebanon, Indiana. This gym was built around 1931 and it's where the Lebanon High School Tigers played. The school moved to a newer gym in the late 1960s, after which this one was purchased by the city and was used recreationally. In the 90s, the entire school building became a senior living facility and then luxury apartments, which it is now. The gym is currently part of the fitness center for the residents and it's rented out for private events. So my uh, main reference for the Hoosiers locations for this video was a website called isfilmedthere.com run by a guy named Chaz, who I like to consider the foremost authority on Indiana filming locations. And uh, he had all the intel on the Hoosier spots and how to access them. So I called him and I actually ended up meeting up with him and his wife, Amanda. And we were uh, hanging out this day at this gym and we had a blast hitting a couple more spots from Hoosiers. So I just wanted to give them a shout out. His uh, site, it's filmedthere.com. It's a really great resource for filming locations and if he's done a movie you're interested in visiting, you should definitely reference his page. Also, I'm pretty sure he and his comments section were the first to solve the Breakfast Club final shot controversy. So yeah, check it out. It's filmedthere.com. Hinkle Fieldhouse, Indiana's basketball cathedral. It opened in 1928 and it is loaded with history. 
when you walk in to this building, you're walking where Presidents Hoover, Nixon, Eisenhower, Ford, Clinton, George H.W. Bush, and Obama have given speeches. You're walking where Jesse Owens once raced, where Oscar Robertson won the state championship in high school with Crispus Attucks, where Milan High School won the state championship in 1954, and of course, where the final game in Hoosiers was filmed. When they were filming that final scene of the state championship against South Bend Central, they couldn't get enough extras to fill the whole arena, so they'd have everyone move into the seats visible on camera to make it look full as they kind of moved around and got all their shots in. If you want to see more from Hoosiers, definitely check out our video documenting the 35th anniversary events those were incredible, and so was the museum we went to in Milan. They had a ton of Hoosiers props, set decoration, and jerseys, so if you want to see that, that is here. Click the link. Also, like this video and subscribe to the channel for more filming locations. And don't forget to enter for the poster signed by the team. See you guys next time.